PHP.net is the official website of PHP, and it documents all the hundreds of built-in PHP functions. Now, the best way to get around that I've found is simply to search. Let's say you want to know what a built-in function does. You can try searching for that item in the function list. I'm going to search for for each, which is a kind of loop that we often apply to an array of data. PHPNet begins by explaining what the function does and then gives you the syntax for writing the function. Now, this can be a bit confusing if you don't understand the semantics of the terms that PHP uses. That's okay. You'll soon get used to it. And you'll find that the terms are often uh, defined in more detail directly below. For my part, I like to focus on the examples that PHP.NET provides. And these are usually found in gray boxes with color-coded code. Now, if the examples aren't enough for you, there is always user-contributed information at the very bottom of the page. Sometimes this includes custom functions for achieving similar or different results. Sometimes this is simple clarification, and sometimes it's just complaints. One thing to note on any function page is the control structures area at the top left. This essentially shows related functions in PHP, and this is a great place to turn if you found the, that your expectations for this particular function were not met. So I may have been thinking about for each, but what I really wanted was the for loop. And again, we have the same structure for the definition of this built-in function. So don't be afraid to turn to php.net. It, it does take a little bit of time to get used to, uh, but once, you, once you're used to it and you're able to navigate through it, I think you'll find it has a wealth of information, especially in terms of uh, exploring and discovering new functions to use in PHP.